good morning y'all so basically i decided to like sink wash my hair last minute um just because my hair was really really greasy and i was trying to style it and i was starting to get frustrated so i just decided to go ahead and wash it because it needs to be washed anyway but um yeah really busy day today and we've already had a really good start to the morning um i got a chance to eat breakfast worked out a little bit and y'all do not judge me but i just started working out um, I haven't been in the gym in so long, but my friend actually made me like a whole list of workouts. I didn't even record everything that I did, but I did get a chance to go in, do a little one-two, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, I need two months, honey. Give me two months. Two months. And I'm finna be that girl, cause yeah but um right now i'm just trying to let this conditioner sit a little bit i have like an hour before school starts so i got to literally like hurry up but if you know I me mean, you know i'm not really pressed to make it to school on time <laughs> like for real <laughs> um so yeah i'm about to go ahead and finish my hair and then i'm gonna catch up with y'all in a few <laughs> my hair um for the sake of time i'm gonna let her my hair off camera i'm going to um go ahead and change into my scrubs because i have to wear scrubs today and then we're gonna get into some pharmacy talk yeah we're about to just flat iron it do y'all see how good these bundles are? but yeah we're about to flat iron it and i'll be right back okay y'all it's about to be 9 30 so i'm about to take my vitamins and then we can head out the door. Alright, first thing is my probiotic. I take this every day. I just feel like old lady. This is vitamin D. This is my cranberry pills. Two of these. I take these ones. Take these. And then biotin. Bro, hair is done. It's not like perfect because I was obviously rushing, but I mean, it's straight. So that's all that matters. I literally did like a pass and a half. Like I touched up the front again, but all of this is just like one pass. So, oh well. We like 9.30. Oh. Mm -mm. I'm gonna actually keep this in my bag, but this is just some chlorophyll water that I be drinking with my vitamins, and I drink at least like a bottle a day. So, yeah. Uh, so, I got my scrubs on, and um, this is my white coat. I don't have to wear this until my, this afternoon, so I'm just got my little jacket on. I don't know why it's not focusing. I'm so late. I think I'm gonna put my um. <clears throat> should I put my retainer? No, I'm gonna leave my retainers out. Oh, you can tell I washed on my hair. <laughs> hey. Both ones should try to get in a relationship with both of us, and that's what we live for right there. And me and you know, like pop up somewhere else. It's scary to kill me. Because you don't want to be I'm never gonna be on time for school. Like it never fails. I could get up at the crack of freaking dawn and I still won't make it to school on time. Like Okay y'all, quick pharmacy talk. I'm already late for school. I might as well go ahead and talk to y'all a little bit. 
but basically um i'm considered a p2 that means that this is my second year in pharmacy school um i guess you could say i did a bridge program because i did two years of undergrad at xavier and then i'm doing four years of pharmacy school so two plus four is six years so i'll be done in 2025 um but yeah, I'm not really sure what kind of pharmacist that I want to be, but I know it's probably not going to be retail, but we're going to see. So as far as today, after class, I do have to go to rotation. Um, right now, I'm doing retail rotations at Walgreens, and um, after I leave there, I'm going to have to close in my job. So it's going to be a pretty long day, but hopefully it's really productive. I'm about to go in here. I'm going to try to record a little bit in class. And um, yeah, that's that. Which is represented by K10, or the rate constant of K10. Diffusion of drug from the central compartment to the tissue compartment, first order kind to the tissue compartment. Therefore, it will have a negative sign. But Drug in the tissue compartment. This drug of administration is subcutaneous or an anti diabetic drug. So, how do y'all like school so far? Trash. I'm not coming back. <laughs> Y'all, class was hashtag boring. So, I am, I was gonna go to a coffee shop and like study there and get like a cute little vibe, cute little aesthetic, but I'm hungry and I already cooked um, the other day. So I'm just gonna hit up leftovers and just study at my house um until it's time for the girl rotations which i don't have to go there until two i have a little time on my hands to um eat study chill out for a little bit before i have to head over there so yeah we just about to go back home y'all this is my lunch for today i'm about to um stay here and eat this barbecue chicken Jambalaya, potatoes, and green beans. Oh, so good. As a PDF or working on today. So, there's different ways of covering the same information. So, it will. Oh my gosh, y'all. I'm really excited for this weekend because, um, it's Mardi Gras, so I have an exam that's Friday, and I'm just patterning my mouth. But I have an exam that's Friday, and literally, like, I like to take my exams as like I'm trying to figure out how to put it. Like, you know how you want to like celebrate something. Like, so when I go out this weekend for Mardi Gras. Like, I want that to be, like, my celebration for doing so good on my exam. So, yeah, that way it can be even more fun because it's just, like, I deserve it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I worked hard for this, but I don't know. <laughs> um, I'm definitely going to be vlogging for Mardi Gras. I can't wait. I have friends coming down um, from back home. They're going to be with me. It's just going to be so much fun. Plus... I feel like this year, real, we will really get a chance to like celebrate Mardi Gras like, like for real, for real. I haven't, like last year was okay and then y'all know COVID hit the year before last so we didn't really have Mardi Gras the year before last. Then my freshman year, that was the best Mardi Gras ever. Like we had so much freaking fun so hopefully we can get back on that level because i really do want to have a lot of fun but i'm definitely going to be vlogging all of that this weekend and take you guys a part of the experience as far as school goes um school literally started probably like three weeks ago and we're already going into our second exam 
like it's crazy pharmacy school is really fast paced like it's really fast paced as soon as we get off a Mardi Gras break which is next week um we go back to school we go back to school literally like next Thursday so we go back to school next Thursday when I come back from Mardi Gras break we literally have like two exams back to back I have an assignment this due actually tomorrow I have three assignments this due Friday so they're really loaded on us before we go for break um so that's kind of irritating but other than that I do like pharmacy school I'm really happy that I'm in like a program where it's gonna set me up so like when I get done I'm not having to go back to school like once I'm done I'm done my goal is definitely to try to secure a job before I graduate that way after I pass my boards I really won't have to worry about trying to like figure out what I want to do I already have my job of choice waiting for me and I can just go ahead and move that's another thing too i'm trying to figure out what place i want to move to it just really depends because like i think i want to have at least two or three different states obviously my um back home like where i'm from that state and then of course i would want to um do the state that i'm living in but i don't know where i'm going to end up living at so i just hope that god just you know puts me in the right path so that i can definitely get somewhere where i'm meant to be at even if i'm only there for a couple of years but um i definitely am looking at like texas and like tennessee maybe georgia i don't know it's a lot of options it's a lot of options but we are going to see but like i was telling y'all earlier i don't even know what kind of pharmacies i want to be and that's going to really depict where i end up living at because the demand for certain pharmacists is more in certain states you can literally do retail anywhere so like if you want to do that like you don't have to live in, in a specific state for that but like if i want to do a nuclear pharmacy if i wanted to work in a lab if i want to work in a hospital do a, like a residency or something it's just a lot of stuff to consider like just a lot of stuff but i feel like sooner than later i'm gonna have everything figured out I'm definitely going to film a um like a pharmacy video probably as the semester picks up maybe like a QA and a or whatever for people that are probably genuinely interested into pharmacy it's a great profession to go in and it's not just one set thing you can do with pharmacy it's like so many different careers you can do with just having your PharmD and that's what makes the job exciting because it's just like you don't have to work the same job for the rest of your life like you can literally change and do different things and i feel like people don't realize that when they think about pharmacy i know when i was in high school the only pharmacists that i knew about was the ones that worked at Walgreens. but when you actually are in the profession and you're doing your rotations at different places it just gets really exciting because it's just like you have endless options also the world of pharmacy is steadily changing we are about to start prescribing medication soon and um that's just gonna open up a whole different door so yeah i'm literally just trying to freshen up before i leave because yeah i'm actually about to walk out the door right now and I'm gonna be gone for a little minute, so I'm just trying to make sure everything is good to go. Okay, y'all, I just got to my rotation and it's like 1.52, so I got a couple minutes. But um, I was going to answer another question, which was, what is it like going to Xavier? And honestly, my it's different now that I'm in pharmacy school because when you're in pharmacy school, it's kind of like you're an extension of Xavier. So you're not really like 
too too involved with what the campus has going on but i will say my two years of undergrad there was really really great xavier is really fun school it's in the city so like i wouldn't say that xavier is like a party school but you're like in a party city so it's always stuff to do it's always a move um as far as academics i know a lot of people that are that were in my graduating class which is this year they have gotten accepted to medical school so if you're like trying to go into medicine or like you want to go into health care i really do feel like this is a great school to go to xavier is also about to get their own medical school in a couple years so um if you are like you know trying to go to xavier this year and you're probably here for all four years by the time you graduate i'm pretty sure the school will be up and that could be a really good door for you to go into like you know and they might even have a bridge program as well just like the pharmacy school um but right now they don't have a nursing program it's just pa and pharmacy and then they're about to do a uh, medical school so if you are trying to go into the sciences i really do recommend xavier if you're not trying to go down the nursing track y'all my camera is dying so i'm trying to charge it but um it's just when you're in the college of pharmacy you're literally studying 24 7 so organizations and stuff might not be the first thing that's on your mind but we still do a lot of stuff within the community and getting involved really does help you take your mind off of like your studies and gives you an opportunity to meet um everybody in the college of pharmacy you have p1s through p4s so everybody's at different levels and it's it's always good to network but i'm about to y'all i'm about to go on my rotation my camera's about to die so i'm gonna see y'all in a couple hours <laughs> okay y'all so i'm not really sure where my video stopped it because my camera died literally while i was talking and it was literally time for me to go to my rotation but my preceptor let me off a little early it's raining right now but i'm finna go to work i'm really tired y'all but i gotta i gotta keep going i gotta keep pushing i'm gonna put my camera on the charger and then i'm about to head to work and then hopefully by the end it's charged up enough so i can talk to y'all a little bit more about school stuff or whatever but i wasn't able to record in my rotation because i am in a pharmacy and you know like can't really show all the drugs and stuff unfortunately i was gonna try to sneak a little video on my phone but i was like nope mm -mm. <laughs> and i really can't record in my uh, pharmacy that i work at either it's the same policy but um i might can't i might can probably record a little some of my job i don't know we're gonna see we're gonna see but yep yeah, see y'all in a few okay y'all so i'm finally home I think it's like, hey Google, what time is it? It's 11, 12 p.m. My day is finally over. I did so much today, but tomorrow I definitely have an easier day. Like I don't have to do as much. Thank y'all so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.